Alrighty, so the plan for today was I was going to shoot a 6.5 PRC video, but I ended up getting my new MDT 6 Arc magazine and uh, obviously wanted to give that a try. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an overall length test today with the 108 ELD match and Reloader 15. Now our brass is fire form now. We're going to use the same load we shot in the last video with the 108 ELD, 28.9 grains. This shot 27.13 feet per second, 9.8 SD and a 0.77 inch group last time. We started out at 2.270 cartridge overall length in the last video. Today we're going to do an overall length test. We're going to shoot from 2.276 all the way down to 2.258. Now I didn't really measure this off the uh, cartridge base to the tip. We actually ended up going cartridge base to O-Drive, but I'm not going to throw those numbers up because those are going to vary based on your comparator. Now I was going to go down to 2.252, but those ended up being too compressed and I was having to chase down on my seating depth too much. We're going to go ahead and shoot the same load, five shot groups, out of the Savage 110 switchback with the new MDT mag. So let's get on the range and let's see it shoot. Alrighty, we're out here on the range. The target is at 100 yards. This is my Savage 110 switchback, chambered in 6mm ARC. It's got a 22 inch barrel, 1 and 7 and half twist. And we're doing this overall length test with the 108 ELD. Starting at our longest load and working our way down in uh, 6 tenths increments. Getting velocity through our lab radar. Don't expect to see a lot of change in our velocity, but might as well bring it out there. Uh, the last time we did shoot this load or these loads, it was uh, fire forming, so maybe our SDs are going to tighten up a little bit, hopefully. The gun is cold. It's a beautiful day. Very little wind. It's probably 45, 50 degrees. Perfect morning to shoot. Um, we're also using a new MDT magazine today. This is the uh, 6 Arc MDT, I think it's 10 round magazine. So we're going to see how it works as well. Didn't have a lot of issues with our uh, 308 magazine we were using, but I have to imagine this is going to be a little bit better. Again, our longest overall length, getting started. Alright, first shot here. Alright, so that was our fastest velocity there, that last one. And we definitely damaged some brass on that last one. A little bit of a swipe. We were at 2770, so that was much hotter than what we were seeing when we were shooting at 2.270 overall length in the last video. Hopefully as we go shorter in the overall length, we don't run into pressure issues. Velocity looked like it was all over the place there though. So let's see uh, where we were at. Yeah, that one we had a 2748 average with a 19.9 .9 SD. For reference, I think we had a 9.8 SD with 2716 average with uh, this overall length we're about to shoot next. So hopefully things uh, tighten up. We are fairly close to the lands with that load there. So maybe that has increased our pressure and our velocity. We're going to find out here. Let's go ahead and move shorter in our wall of length. Again, this is a load we've shot before at 2.270. Alright, I think that 
Might have been a little bit better for velocity consistency, but still doesn't look great. Yeah, that one we had 2738 feet per second average with a 13.8 SD. So just a little faster than the last time we had this load. A little bit worse SD. Let's go ahead and move a little shorter. Hopefully things continue to get better as we move shorter. Happy with the way the magazine's feeding. Feels really smooth. Feels like it's not causing us any issues. Pretty decent group there, I think. That one looked to be the most consistent with velocity. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so that one was 2740 average with a 6.9 SD. All right, let's go ahead and move to the shortest overall length here. All right, so that looks like the best group of the day there. I think my last shot there kind of screwed it up just a little bit, but our velocity looked incredibly consistent as well. Yeah, so that one we ended up with 2744 average with a 5.5 SD. So shorter overall links definitely turned out to be better today. We are uh, getting some ejector swipes pretty much across the board here. Seems like it got better as we got shorter with our overall length. Let's get over there, let's check out the target and let's get back to the bench. All right, so we're back at the bench here, taking a look at our groups today. The first group at that 2.276 overall length shot the worst group of the day at 1.1 inches, 2748 feet per second, and a 19.9 SD. Moving on to the original overall length at 2.270, we shot a 0 0.91 inch group, 2738 feet per second, and a 13.8 SD. Next group at 2.264 overall length, we shot a 0 0.89 inch group, 2740, average with a 6.9 SD. And our last group of the day at our shortest overall length at 2.258, we shot a 0 0.76 inch group, 2744, and a 5.5 SD. Alright, so overall I was a little bit disappointed with these groups, but I was having a little bit of a tough time shooting. I don't know if it was Mirage off the gun or the weather, but the... Uh, Target was dancing around a little bit on me today, so I feel like this is the worst groups we could have got with all these loads today, based on my shooting performance. Now, taking a look at our brass, we're still right at that top end. You can see some light ejector smears. Seems like they got a little bit better as we went on, um, probably because that first load had some, uh, some rounds that um, were pretty high. I think we had one that was 2770 with that first group. So I guess being closer to lands in this case isn't a good thing. So it looked like the last load of the day here is definitely the best group. Tried to group the best and we had the best velocity consistency. And with 2744, that's going to get us out to 1,000 yards no problem. So thank you guys for watching. Probably have a 6.5 PRC video out next week. But I've been enjoying the 6 arc so much, we just keep shooting it. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.